For slide copying I'm using the Nikon D810 full frame DSLR with 36 megapixels, great dynamic range for slides. The 60mm f2.8 macro, TTL extension cord for the flash, Nikon Speedlight SB800 or you could use the 910, the slide copying adapter ES1, an adapter ring for 62 down to 52mm, the BR5 for some slides, a rocket blower, a lens brush, an MC20 remote cable release and an LCD torch. The setup's pretty simple, I just place it on a tabletop with the flash aimed at the ES1 diffuser about 13 centimetres away. The black velvet cloth just stops any off-colour reflections from the tablecloth or whatever. The slide copier and flash are packed up to the right height with coasters and foam and other spaces. I check the lighting by overexposing the frame with no slide in it and checking the highlight blinkies making sure that they're centred in the frame. It's also a good idea to do a custom white balance at this point with no slide in the copier. The torch is used to help focus on the slide. I can leave it on all the time because I use 1 3 20th of a second for the exposure at f8 and the torch light doesn't affect that exposure at all. It helps to use the AF on button for focusing so that the AF doesn't engage every time you take a shot. To prepare for copying, use a light and a magnifier if you have one to check the slides for dust and check which side the emulsion is on. The easy rule for all film is that the emulsion should always face the light just like it did in the camera. The emulsion side of the film is typically duller than the acetate side, but not always. Some films can be difficult to tell, but under the magnifier you can usually see little ridges or lines on the surface around the dark and light edges of the image. When you put the slide in the ES1 copier, the emulsion should go towards the flash. Use a rocket blower first to clean loose dust off the slide. Use a brush to dislodge stubborn particles. Place the slide in the copier and focus using AFS mode. I find this more reliable and faster than live view on the D810 for this purpose. Use manual exposure of 1 3 20th of a second and at least F8 or F9 on the 60mm macro for maximum sharpness. The camera will meter the flash exposure automatically using TTL flash control. Set the flash compensation so that you get some blinkies in the review screen. There's plenty of highlight latitude in the D810. As they say, exposed to the right. So here we are in Lightroom with a comparison of the Nikon D810 NEF using the ES1 slide copier and the same slide scanned on an Epson flatbed scanner, the V700 photo. So the NEF with the detail, if we go to 4 to 1, you can see the, the detail in the fabric there from the Epson flatbed scanner. That same detail doesn't seem to appear. So the, the camera copying produces a much sharper result and the colours are better straight away too easier to manage and they're 48 bit 36 megapixel so they have <clears throat> lots of room for editing and recovery so this is an example of a slide captured with the d810 and es1 first thing you need to do is crop them with the es1 on the 60 mil macro on the D810 it's not possible to capture the whole frame 
but uh, you can get most of it and the edges are probably not quite as sharp anyway so that's good and uh, there's plenty of detail there as you can see you can see all the grain in the original film there's no detail being lost uh, with this shot there's not much editing required um, a bit of highlight recovery a bit of shadow recovery get the whites and edit the blacks add a bit of clarity a bit of vibrance doesn't need much in this shot and there you've got the finished results before and after another slide imported as a nef don't need to crop you can see here that the corners of these old slides are quite rounded they can be fixed in Photoshop later on using content aware fill again not much editing required on this one highlight recovery a bit of boosting in the shadows fix the whites Blacks, some clarity in this one, and a bit of vibrance again. So it's quite easy to edit before and an after. Or alternatively, if you want to get uh, Lightroom to do an auto edit, it looks like that. Take your pick. Another slide. This is an old Anscotrome. Quite discoloured. Probably about uh, 40 years old. This slide. And it needs a bit of rotation. Again, those corners can be edited later in Photoshop. And the white balance needs fixing here. The exposure could go up a touch. Contrast could even go up a touch. Shadow recovery. Whites. Blacks. There you have it. A bit of vibrance, a bit of clarity. This one could do with a bit of tone adjustment in Photoshop later on, I think. As you can see, they're very grainy, some of these old slide films. But it's a reasonable result that can be had quite quickly. So, thank you very much.